John 14 verses 1 through 4. John 14 uh, verses 1 through 4. Uh, wale wako mtandao unasa kueka tu tusome. John 14 uh, verses 1 through 4. Anasema, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Verses 2. And in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. Let's move. And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye also, also uh, be also. Mm -hmm. Verses 4. And with and with that I go and you know and the way you know if you can give us from New King James translation for easy try, for easy people to get. In other words, yes, when I want be on a funziwake, and I want be a mimi ni nayenda kwa baba yangu kuandalia makao. Nani tanda makao ili mukija mukute makao yenu iko tayari. So number one to nambi o kwamba i dunia sio makao yetu. Yesu anatuambia nimeenda kuandalia makao ili mukija mkuta makao iko tayari na hata kama mkichelewa mimi nitarudi kuachukua by force nitakuja kuwatoa dunia na niwapeleke ili tukae pamoja mali na stahili hiyo ni namba 1 kusema hii dunia we are not permanent and pensionable we are not permanent hii dunia tunapita ni mapito Wili mwimbaji akaimba kasema dunia ni mapito. Na kwa hivyo kila mtu katika dunia amepewa assignment na Mungu ya kufanya maswala fulani kabla siku zako. Ni kusema watu wa Mungu ni vyema kuelewa kwamba mtu akifariki haitishi Mungu ni kawaida kwa Mungu. Eh? Mtu akufariki kwa Mungu ni kawaida. Lakini sisi tunastuka kwa sababu number one Hatuji imani tunaenda Lakini maandiko hiko inatuambia kwamba Musifadhaika kama watu wana imani Wawa kifa mutawaona tena Maana yesu wata Iko katika maandiko fase salon japta 4 verse 13 Through 17 Anasema tutawaona tena Na himo na, nimekuja kuatia moyo Na kuambia kwamba Kila mtu ambao wako chini ya jua Hakuna mtu anaishi milele We are not permanent Tum, Tuko duniani temporarily Amen. Amen. Now, your kitabu cha Yohana, John chapter, uh, read with me, John 17 verses 12. What are to John 17, 12? Uh, John 17, 12. John 17. Anasema, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in the name. Uh, those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost except the son of perdition that scriptures might be fulfilled. So, una, unawana pia hapu inakuambia, wale watu Yesu aliwa wamekutana wa na wa, wao aliwapatia neno na hilo neno limewahifadhi uh, only the sons of perdition okay go to the next one verse 13 anasema but now i come to you these things i speak in the world that they may have my joy in themselves fulfill joy Yesu anasema baba ninakuja kwako sasa na ninaongea nikiwa duniani ili wasikie na waelewe kwamba ni ndani yangu nitawapa furaha sio furaha ya kwamba unakula ugali leo una, unakula chapati ili unapenda umekula chips umekula hamburger hapana sio hiyo furaha ni furaha ipitao fahamu zote kwamba unafurahi kwa hali zote kwa sababu unajua Mungu yuko pamoja nasi Anasema, uh, in the, layer verse, the next one, Anasema, I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they do not, uh, uh, they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Yesu anasema, ni mewapa neno, na wanafamu kwamba, wao si wa ulimwengu, kama mimi si wa ulimwengu. So Yesu alifahamu, kwamba u ulimwengu ni mapito, na ni asanime, na njimu najua, Yesu alishi mbeka ngapi? Eh? Alishi maka ngapi? 33. Kama alishi 33 na kafariki, is very young. Lakini alimaliza kazi yake. Na tunona Paulo katika uh, uh, Second Timothy chapter 4, anasema, I have finished the race, I have fought the fight, I have kept the faith, I am ready to go. Paulo anatuambia. 
Ni kusema watu wa Mungu ni sasa ni ni, fatha, ni, ni vyema we kufahamu kila mmoja wetu hapa ana assignment. Ulipookoka ulipatiwa ministry. Sivyo tunaelewa hiyo katika 2 Corinthians 5:17. Anasema everyone just flash for, for people to understand. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5:17. 2 Corinthians 5:17. Uh, angalia kila mtu ana huduma kwa sababu watu wa Mungu. Mnajua kuna hukumu baada ya baada dunia hii. Do you know that is judgment? Kama kuna jaja ni kusema utaulizo maswali ya kazi ulifanyaje? Ya familia ulifanyaje? Ya mke ulioa uta, utatoa hesabu ya mke wako na watoto wako? Utatoa hesabu ya mume wako? Every one of us will stand before the judgment throne of God to give to sema pia hata manedo tunayoongea. Aha nitakuonyesha. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All the things have passed away. Behold, the things have become new. Aha, uh-huh. endelea. Anasema unakuwa kiumbe kipya ukiokoka. Alafu anasema, now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Christ uh, Jesus Christ and has given us what? Given us what? A ministry of So every one of you who is born again has a ministry. You you better begin working. Better begin working now. Because you have a ministry of reconciliation. Reconcile people to God. Reconcile families that are breaking. Recon- Usiseme, hii ni, hii ni pasa wetu tuwa na sana nayo. Apana, we unaudume ya kuleta watu kwa Yesu. Kwa hivyo hii kanisa ikifika next Sunday, kama mtu, kila mtu wakilete mtu, hii kanisa hakuna maade tutaka watu. Tutapanua. Lakini kazi yetu wa kristo tufanyishe uh, okovu wetu kazi. Tuwe watu wa matendo. Siwa wa maneno. Bwana asiwe sana. Tusie watu wa maneno, tuna sisi ni watu wa nini? Wa matendo. Sasa Biblia inatuambia uh, kwamba tumepewa muda wa kufanya kazi. Na ndio unaona tunafaa saa. Hiyo saa si mbaradadi. Ni ni kukuambia kila siku unazeeka. Na kila siku ina, ina, na inakuambia taka taka ni kusema masiku zako zimehesabiwa. Actually ukivaa saa inalia taka ni kama bombu uko nayo ukingoja siku moja ilipuke hiyo sasa inakuambia siku zako zifanya nini zimehesabiwa inaenda 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 bwana asifiwe sana na mpaka Daudi akasema bwana nifundishe kuhesabu siku zangu kwa sababu yeye alitishika akiona hiyo saji na jua ikichomoka na kwenda chini ni siku imeenda kama hujaifanyia kazi hiyo ni hiyo ni wasted day Imeenda lazima kila siku tuifanyishe kazi every day you must produce every day why the days are going you have no time aya tuangalie hebu tuende tuende uh, Psalms 90 verses 9 let's go to Psalms 90 verses 9 Psalms 90 verses 9 anasema for all our days pass away in your wrath we finish years like a sight. Yaani siku zinaenda haraka. Tunamaliza masiku kama hivi siku imeenda. Alafu anasema verse 10, go to verse 10. The days of our lives are how many days? How many 70 years? How many, how many years do we live? For the days of our lives are 70 years and if by reason of strength are 80 years, yet their their boost is only but labor and sorrow for it soon cut off and we fly away kwamba tumewekea miaka ngapi kuisha kufanya kazi Sabini. nafu tamanini ukiweza anasema tamanini ukiweza Tisini ukipata neema Mia moja. ikweni hiyo ni hiyo ni bonus umekula <laughs> bonus hata unaona watu wamefika mia moja. kama my grandmother alikuwa ananiuliza akisikia mtu amekufa kijiji kingine ananiuliza na mimi nangoja nini kwa ni Mungu alinisahau sasa nilikuwa namwambia tuko tunamwambia tuko tunamwambia kuna kitu imefanyika maana atalete kesi ambayo hatuwezi ananiambia omba muulize Mungu kwa nini alinisahau sasa mimi nenda it was difficult hiyo ni bonus unafahamu bonus ni kusema ile miaka tumepewa kufanya kazi jamani tuifanyishe kazi kwa sababu kuna siku hatutaweza kufanya kazi Alafu nika mimi nikapiga hesabu. Nikaangalia nikasema kama tunaishi miaka sabini ya kufanya kazi productive productive years. Na tunalala masaa nane kila siku kwa miaka sabini, tutakuwa tumelala 
25 years. Out of 70 years, 70 to my own, you have Lakini unalalanga masanane. If you do that mathematics, you find that you have slept 25 years or out of 70. So if you remove your sleeping, how many days have remained? How many years have remained? 45. Sasa ni kusema uko na 45 years solid, iyo ni akazi peke ake. Lakini ulienda shule. Ulienda shule. How many years did you spend your, your primary, your, your, key, your, your, uh, your uh, baby, do you think baby class masasa tuko PP1? From PP1 to university, first degree, how many years? About 20. To be... Okay, 20? To make 20? 23. 23? 23? Yeah. Hi. Sama 20. <laughs> Sasa, out of 40, out of 40, to a 20. Ime back in Gapi? <laughs> Also, you get 23, you get 23 out of 40 in the back. I'm not a free man. I'm not a free man. I'm Unangalia, una, kweli kabisa unangalia, hatuna masiku ya kucheza nayo. Hauna siku ya tekwena, atunafanya window shopping, unaenda huko kuonge. Una siku. Kuna kazi mungu wa mekupa, una kazi ya bomba yako, una biashara unatakana kufungua, una nyumba gorofo unataka kujenga, una gari unatakana kununua, una vitu unatakana kufanya, una time. We have no time. And let me tell you, it's rather you understand that we are given very short time to do things. Now in that, and again, in the things we do, there are challenges. Ndiyo unikienda kuomba, unambia mungu, nipe munda, watu wanalia. Kama kama Ezekaya, Ezekaya mungu alituma Isaac, muambia, nena muambia Ezekaya, siku zake zimeisha. Ezekaya akalia kwa ukuta, akapika, ambia mungu kumbuka, mungu kumbuka kasi nilifanya. Kumbuka mambo yako niliomba, nikafanya, nikafanya. Mungu akasema hithiru, nimeona ulifanya. Akambia Isaiah, oh Rudy, Rudy muambie, nimeumpa tena bonus 15 years. 15 years. Nikidogo sana. So unaangalia ni lini utajenga ile gorofa? Ni lini utanunua ile gari? Ni lini utaendesha Prado? Ni lini uta, 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 watoto wako watafika university na wapate kazi? Ni lini utaenda ngambo? Ni lini utachimba damu? Ni kuna kazi ambao tunayo. We have no time. And and you know you cannot afford to waste your day by just sitting doing nothing. Something is wrong and we have to arise. And count the days. Go to verse 12. Go to verse 12. To Angalia verse 12. Angalia vile Daudi anasema. This is what David is saying. Anasema, teach us to number our days. That we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us, oh God. Teach me, Lord, to number my days. Mina kumbia, ninaangalia wakati mungine. Time to me is limited. Na mtu anataka kubiga story. Atuna wakati wa story. Atuna wakati wa kupoteza Atuna unatembe <laughs> Una wakati Our time is bound Amen. And we have no borrowed time Wana suwe sana So ni wakati wa kuangalia na kusema He, sija jenga gorofa Sija fungwa ili biashara Sija enda Dubai, sija enda China Sija enda Marekani, sija fanya I. Na unataka na kuwa umefanya vitu yote Na mungu wamekupa time Amen. Lakini wuna una enjoy time Alafu baada endi unasa kusumbuka Mbaka inafika mahali ambao unasa kulani watu. O watoto wangu awanisaidi. O wafanyi. Wata ni kuambi. Uli potesa time yako. Na pia kama huku panda. Atuonge ukweli. Kama huku panda. Yeah. Wana suwe sana. So mimi nimekuja kuwa, 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 kuambia hapa. Kuwa, kuambia, kuambia kuamba. Mungu ametupa muda wa kufanya kazi. Nandia kasema. Jamani tufahamu kwamba hatuwezi fanya kila kitu. Everything has a season and a time. In Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 4. Give us a scripture. Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3 verses 1 to 4. Every, everything in life has a season. Uko na season ya kuwa MP. Uko na season ya kuwa MCA. Uko na season ya kuwa governor. Uko na season ya kuwa president. Na, imi, na umeambiwa tamgapi mbili ikiisha unaenda nyumbani. Kama ujajipanga, utapangwa. Yeah? 
Na hata sisi tufahamu namna hiyo. Usipojipanga basi dunia itakupanga. Eh? Every anasema to everything there is a season. A time for every purpose under the sun. The next one, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck what is planted. Uh -huh. Verse 3, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up. Mm -hmm. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. I come to prophesy, may you start dancing now. And, and begin moving. Why? Season waits. Let me tell you, somebody said, time and tides wait for no man. Time and tides wait for no man. Uwe singoja ati, ati juwe inasimama, uh, ati anasama wacha ni ngoje mama, mama, mama kipruto akuje, ama mama kamau, ama mama mboga, wacha malise kazi yako ndiyo niteremuke. Juwa haikungoji. Haikungoji niwe kujipanga kwa masa umepewa, unajipanga. Na nama ujipange. Na nusupo jipanga, utapangwa. Eh, utapangwa. Na utapenda kupangwa. Kwa hana suwe sana. <laughs> so, mini mekuja kuambia kwamba, Yesu alifanya kazi. Na akambia watu, sio mimi nafanya. Nafanya kwa sabu mdani mfupi. The time is short. I'm working now while it's day. Why? Night is coming. Nikuwa na, nikuwa na, nikuwa, mimi nikuwa naambia mke wangu. Sasa hata, hata sija kupenda mpaka nikasikia ni mekupenda sana. Iyo time itapatika na wapi. Situ tuende holiday. Kwa sababu, yesu nibili na tuambia, usipo, sasa usipo penda mke wako saa hii. Utapenda nani? Na utakuja, mutakuja kupenda na lini? Na shina ni mingi. Mutakuja kupenda na lini? Shina ni mingi. Ukiangalia huku watoto wako na matatizo. Ukiangalia huku kuna wafanyi kazi. Ukiangalia huku kuna maneno. Ukiangalia huku wakuna pesa. Kuna shina mingi. So tukamua, tukasema, wacha tuena tupendani. Ili angalo usikie. Iyo upendo umeishika. Utamai, I'm telling you, we have no time. Kabili unasema, unajua ingido, kushina moja tukonayo. Sisi ni watu tunaitua people of procrastination. We keep postponing things. Maybe tomorrow I'll do that. Maybe tomorrow I'll... Mungu wa yuko... What are you time? You have no time. Let me tell you. Anything you postpone. Oh, nitaolewa. Wale wasitana mjaolewa na vijana mjaowa. Muna sama hawa nitaolewa tu. Na miaka inaenda. Na badu unasama utaolewa. Utaolewa ni... Ama siku kipanga imelia. Yesu wa merun. Kwa sabu sasa tunawana Antichrist yuko. Na mambo ya maendaliwa duniani. Let me tell you. Akuna siku... Believe me. Ili maima suwala ya vita ya dunia. Ambo inaendelea. Ya Ukraine na Russia na mingine ya nakuja Wezi kujua third world war itatokea wapi Na siku third world war itatokea Story ya kuoleo itakua imeisha Itakua ni mugu Sasa itakua ni maandiku inatimia Mugu ni ponye Utawaleo wapi Watu wa mugu We have no time And it is natural for people to die To God Death is natural Tuliambio vizuri sana Hakuna mutu pamaneni Na tumepeo siku, ni siku unangojea. Na ni kama basi ambao ikitoa kakerichu ikienda Nairobi, inashukishanga watu kwa stage. Na ukishuka uambiangi mtu ni meenda wapi. Hata kuna mtu anajua, unashuka peke yako. Unaacha mke wako, unashuka. Ukishuka, hata mama anashangaa, msea meenda wapi. Anachukua muda ku understand. Amba, whatever. Let me tell you. Life, we are given time. And we, we cannot take that time. And invest the time. And begin to do things in prayer. Understanding that time is not there. Wana swe sana. Waibwa inafaa. Kila mtu wanaenda katika drawing board. Nanyi wote munaomba. Mina uliza. Unaomba nga nini? Kama maombi yako. Haidia kufundisha kuelewa kwamba. Siku zako sinasonga. Lakini huja ambio. Kitu mungu hameficha kila mtu. Hameficha siku yako ya kuenda. Hameficha. Wengine wamefunuliwa. Na hata kama hata kufunulia, ana kufunulianga last minute. Fanya hivi, fanya hivi, fanya. Hata bishop, fanya hivi, fanya. You know the story. Ki, mtu wanafunuliwa. Inakuanga surprise. Ndi unawana unasa kufanya hiyo, unafanya hiyo. At least kuna vitu unataka kumalizia. Lakini sangine, time does not wait. Plan now. Una, unapanga, ndi unawana wazungu, wanapanga miakatano. Wanasema strategic planning. 
strategic planning unapanga unasema by the end of 2023 niko na prado 2023 nimeanza gorofa 2023 kisha december nimeenda ulaya unaanza kuwa na project una purpose because if you do not purpose the enemy will delay you let me tell you there are four enemies in this life that have killed people four enemies of man four enemies of man number one, delay delay many people have been delayed and the bible says when the enemy delays you so much you you'll be destroyed delay uliza watu leo atakwambia mimi nilipokuja kericho nilikuwa nataka kujenga gorofa pale niko na plot haijajengwa 20 30 40 years haijajengwa ama iko na mabati anasema nilitaka kuweka gorofa time hakuna delay satan can delay your life and you must pray against the spirit of delay sasa ukikuja ukikuja ni kuna mzee mmoja ndiye atakumuombea amepatiwa range rover mpya range rover mpya ako na 60 years usiku wesi endesha akifanya miwani haizi endesha so nikamuuliza range rover ya 60 years nikamwambia Mungu nisaidie niendeshe range rover nikiwa nikiwa kijana ni feel power ni feel god yani una feel machine una feel ina ina kanya kama sasa ukiwa ukiwa 60 you can run the look for a driver unachukua driver unakaa left akupeleka kwa mbio usikimbie sana twende pole pole uta feel lini machine nzito kama hiyo eh? inateremka wakati unaingia inashuka ina, ina ukipanda inakupandisha alafu inaenda ungangani unga, in, in, hey, watu, watu wa Mungu sasa unakuja kujenga gorofa ukiwa 70 ukifika fifth floor unaambia ule mfundi enda angalia uniambie ni nini naendelea watakudanganya kwa sababu ukifika 70 ukienda juu miguu hizi na macho inaogopa heights. Wazee wanaanza kutetemeka miguu. Wezi angalia chini. Na uko na ukorongo na uko na gorofa. Pengine Mungu akusaidia watoto wako akusaidia wakuja kusaidia. Wakamwambia dadi tulia tu acha niende niangalie. Sababu yeye hata kudanganya na kikudanganya ni wako hata kikula ni sini sini. Hiyo ni roho yako acha akule. Delay. Umekuwa delayed. Unasema tu nita Let me tell you any time you are delayed you be frustrated and we must pray against the spirit of delay are you with me the spirit of delay is critical umechelewa kuolewa umechelewa kufungua biashara umechelewa kufanya vitu unasema tu procrastination pro, eh, nitafanya nitafanya Misi, let me tell you any procrastination does not bring gratification it will bring frustration i pray that you begin to hit the spirit of delay in your prayer the second the second principality The second principality that we must attack is stagnation. 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 Many people are stagnated in their life. They are not able to move forward. Umebaki kama ngombe wa kisi. Wamefungiwa peg. Sasa anasunguka tu namna hii. Anasunguka. Unajua nilikuwa naenda kisi ah uh, hiyo mwaka ingine before covid kwa apostolic mission apostolic apostolic nika nika drive kwa kwa nikakuta kwa nyingine unaenda round kama unapiga si hapo kuna kiwanja mzuri lakini ina mteremko nikakuta vijana wanacheza mpira na ngombe imekula nyasi hapo mpaka imeisha nikasikia nimekasirika nikasimamisha gari yangu kwa kando ya barabara na nikatoka nikamwambia mama ah vijana nikatoka i was very annoyed i, I didn't know why nikaenda nikamwambia mnacheza mpira na hii ngombe imemaliza imemaliza nyasi kijana mmoja akasikia kangoa na akasukuma ngombe kakimbia msudi nikasema bahati yenu ningewataandika i was very annoyed <laughs> ndio baadaye mungu akaniambia what 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 you feel is what is happening to many people and especially christians umekaa level moja kwa muda mshahara the same miaka kumi, 10000 50000 100000 umekaa na 100000 for many years when will you increase When, you, when, when will you handle a million do no wana kwamba tunasema time has come you must pray yourself out from stagnation and tell god i shall not stagnate i must arise for my season has come this is your season to arise your season to arise your season to arise 
Anasema call the things that are not as so they are. What are you calling? What are you calling in your prayer? I call my house. I call my land. I call my business. I call my children. Adaboshake. It's your season. How long shall you remain the same? Crying the same. Yet the powers of stagnation has frustrated your life. I come to tell you, may God arise in your situation. May God arise in your situation. May God deliver you from stagnation. Deliver your life from stagnation. My mind be delivered. Now, nisikise kwa makini. Kuna watu akili yao imefungwa. Umekaa mali moja. Kabiashara ya shilingi miyamoja. Miambili utashika million lini. Utashika billion lini. Utashika trillion lini. Na imungu anasema, I have provided all that you need has been given to you. I challenge every one of us. From today, Pray yourself out. Pray your children out. Pray your children out. Declare to the Lord, my children, you shall not stagnate. My children, you shall not stagnate. Come out. Come out. Come out. Ah, I wish you understand what I'm saying. At times, God is looking for a crazy person who will tell God, I can't be held here for too long. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. You may not know where you are going, but the Lord shall direct you. The Lord shall direct you. Why? He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he shall be the same. A small business cannot content you. You are too big for it. So, tuonge ukweli. Ebu tuonge. Watu wa mungu. Si tuonge. Kuna watu hajaenda shule. Na umeenda shule. Umefanya class 8. Una advantage ya mtu hajaenda shule. Umefanya form 4. Form 4 ndiyo certificate ya Kenya nakubalika. Kwa mbo umesoma. Sinisawa jamani. Form 4 certificate. Ndiyo utakupeleka university. Itakupeleka ngambo. Iyo ndiyo tunasema... The, the, the level ya masomo Kenya. Unafa, umen, wengine wameenda university. Umepata degree. Na una iyo degree unaulisa. Imewai kulete kitu. Hii degree imeleta kitu. Kama ijalete unafa, ufai kulala. Unafa kulisa mungu hii degree ulinipa ni anini. Ni anini hainipi pesa. Ni anini haijengi nyumba. Ni anini hainipele kingambo. Hmm? Mume alalia degree kwa manyumba. Umeeka kwa kabad. Itafanya kazi lini. I challenge you. It's a spirit of stagnation. You must. Lazima uingowe. Useme na ingowa. Na unaza kuyombea. Unatembea kuyombea. Ifanya kazi. Lazima degree ifanya kazi. Diploma ifanya kazi. Certificate yako ifanya kazi. Kwa sababu mungu anangojea. Mungu anangojea. We unafanya nini? Unasema... Mungu akipenda atapenda lini hakuna story ya kupenda alipenda na akasema i have given i've given you all i've given you all it needs crazy unajiona usiona watu wa Mungu usipokuwa crazy atunasema now let me say this no one will give you what you deserve but what you demand no one will give you what you deserve but what you demand. Ndiyo unawana wa Kenya wanasema kama serekali haitupati pesa, hatufanyi kasi. Si makaunti government wamefunga. Singine bado zimefunga. Wanasema kama amuongezi mushara, the government will not give them what they deserve but what they demand. So wakigoma, pesa inakuja. Na we unangoja nini? Na certificate inawazea pale. Na unazeka. Atabado unasema to Lord I'm waiting. Waiting for who? God is waiting for you. He's coming back. Sasa unanda, wengine wanasema, if I go to heaven, I'll ask God, oh Lord, nimeteseka. Sasa ukiteseka, yesu wa mekupa neno, wanasema, I give you my word. I give you my name. I give you the grace. I give you the, baka mekupa pasa. Unangoja nini? You need to come out of that and declare to Satan, Satan, you can hold me again. Satan, you can't hold my life again. You can't hold my marriage again. You can't hold me again. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. 
unahitaji kutoka kwa sababu usipoamua kutoka believe me utakaa hapo na Mungu hata kusema hata sema ate, oh, ate fulani Mungu anangoja maana anangoja uombe maombi si kwa kwenda kuambia Mungu Mungu unajua sisi ni maskini Mungu unajua hata kwetu hakuna mtu amesoma ameenda yule amenga ngambo Mungu unajua uh, unajua Mungu unajua sisi tunangangana hiyo si maombi hiyo ni mchezo unafanya Yesu alifunza wanafunzi wake akawaambia katika Matthew chapter 6 aliwaambia when you pray say our father number one, God is a father God is a father ni kusema a father has a relationship baba ana baba anaelewa watoto baba anaelewa hali yako akusema master a master in heaven a, unajua wakati mwingine nyinyi ukisikia swa kristo ninasikia kulia akamwambia our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come what does that tell you inakwambia enforce the kingdom of god in your situation enforce the king ni, ni kusema lete mamlaka ya mbinguni katika nyumba Yesu aliwaambia wanafunzi yake katika matayo kumi. aliwaambia msadi wa tano. aliwaambia nina watuma na mkienda kwa nyumba ya mtu mus, kitu ya kwanza mnaomba na mnasema nini the kingdom of god has come ukiingia kwa nyumba ya mtu unasema the kingdom of god has come na kama kingdom ya mungu imekuja sasa utawala wote wa hiyo nyumba inabadilika na ndio nimeambia wachungaji ukienda kwa nyumba ya mtu hapana anza kunywa chai. Ati umepatiwa mandazi. Wachana hii watuja kuja kunywa chai. Kitu ya kwanza unaleta ufalme wa Mungu kwa hiyo nyumba. Unasema the kingdom of God has come to this house and therefore Lord every principality that serves here under my feet. Umeshika umeteka nyara. Hata kama walikuwa wanapigana hiyo roho ina hama. Hata kama walikuwa na umaskini na hama. The kingdom of God na akawaambia pia na ukikatalio kwa hiyo nyumba na ulikuwa umetangaza amani chukua amani yako uende nayo kwa hivyo mjue nikija kwenu nitoke amani imeenda sisumsome maandiko eh anasema if, they, if no one receives your peace take your peace and go, and go with it mnaanza kupigana tena basa alienda na amani anyway you, you are getting what i'm saying the kingdom of sasa mimi nauliza when will the kingdom visit you akasema thy kingdom come enforce the kingdom in your situation the second prayer akasema thy will hebu tusome hebu tupatie ah Matthew 6 verses 10 Matthew 6:10 ah wanasema your kingdom come your will be done on other cities in heaven so kitu ya kwanza bring the will of god to your present situation Amen. bring the will of god to your present situation number number 2 anasema nini uh, go, go to 11 anasema nini anasema give us today our okay ni number 9 and number 10 ndio ulikuwa nataka ama hiyo nyingine ni ni mahitaji ah uh, anasema in this manner therefore pray our father in heaven our lord be thy name mm-hmm. 20 verses 10 anasema your kingdom come so the first thing enforce the kingdom enforce the kingdom number 2 Your will be done in my house in my business in my marriage as it is in heaven Your will be done in my marriage as it is in Sometimes you ask yourself whose will are you operating on Whose will are you operating Your will be done in my life in my marriage in my children in my business as it is in heaven That is prayer Engage prayer bring scripture to your present situation nimesema two, two things nimesema the first one the enemies of man delay number two number three diversion 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 kuna watu waliwacha wali zamani ulikuwa unaombanga sana mpaka Mungu anasikia zamani ulikuwa hata ukilala unasikia Mungu anakugusa usiku unasikia puf. Bona kaka kitu kama kupita unaamka kuomba ulikuwa unaomba saa sita, saa saba. lakini sasa uliisha siku hizi wewe ni fukara ulikuwa unapataka pesa mambo ilienda ulikuwa una, una, kuna vitu ulikuwa unafanya and if you look back 
ulikuwa diverted pole 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 huko mbali rudi mpaka mahali uliwachana na Mungu umwambie Mungu tuliwachana hapa ukiniongeleshanga siku hizi uniongeleshi kwa nini siamuki usiku ni pepo gadi huyu amekukalia anakukalia usiku atu nakataa kuja kuomba hiyo popo nataka nitolewe kwa nyumba yako unasema unaenda kwa nyumba yako unaizungumzia wacha niwaambie kila kitu ina masikio unaenda kwa nyumba yako unazungumza unaambia shetani mambo yangu na Mungu imerudi im, tumerudiana sasa we hama saa sita unaamka kuomba diversion come back to the original place and come back to your roots and start doing what you are you are, you are doing well and progress in that direction amen now number number which number are we now tumesema uh, stagnation delay diversion backwardness kuna watu tu naturally they are backward in, in other words wanaitwa analog kwa kwa, uli, kwa, kwa lugha ya sasa wewe ni anal hata simu unanunua ununuangi digital phones unanunua analog kwa sababu hata analog hata digital nimekuchenga hii mambo ya kubonyesha vitu mingi na ku, inakusumbua sasa hiyo sasa watu wengi naturally they are backward kwa sababu ya maisha angalia angalia tu nyumba yako vile vitu unatumia ni vya zamani viti ni ya zamani mablangeti ni ya zamani makaraya ya zamani vikombe ya zamani vitu hata nguo yako ni ya zamani unahitaji kuchanuka mtu wangu chanuka chanuka maana maisha unachanuka na wacha 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 niwaambie ukitaka kujua wewe uko 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 katika spirit of backwardness angalia ndoto zile unaota angalia ndoto zako utakuta kwamba unaota ukiwa shule unasoma tena na uko na miaka hamsini umefaa kaptula uko shuleni unaota kwa unaota ukiwa kwa manyumba ambao yaani mahame unakuta mara mingi ndoto zako uko katika ma- mahali watu walihama in, in deserted places uncompleted houses unakuta hata ukiwata ndoto nyingine unakuta kwamba hata ukienda choo ilijaa imefrika ni kukuambia you are stagnated you are sta- even the dreams will tell you you are stagnated unafaa kuomba that is a dangerous spirit why believe me any time you dream that you are, you are going back to school si hata kwamba ni Mungu anakuambia uende shule mwingine anasema oh, ninaota ni kila siku nini niko na shule niko na kaptula ama nina ati niko na university inaweza kuwa university lakini ni kwamba you are a backward hiyo ni ruha kuambia roho ya backwardness is in your life you need to pray yourself out ukiangalia maisha yako hakuna maendeleo hata moja unayo pa currently you are stagnated you need to pray yourself out and tell god i'm coming out of this in the name unajua ndoto watu wa mungu ndoto yote unaota inakuambia ni nani anakupinga nani anakupiga na uko wapi kimaisha ni nini nafanyika na unaenda wapi Mungu anaongea anga kwa ndoto. Hakuna hata hata wewe umeokoka moja umeokoka. Mungu anakuonyesha. Mungu huonyesha kila mtu hali yake. Hata wakati mwingine mwenye anakuroga unaletea picha. Unaona hii picha sura naijua lakini hujui mtu. Familia faces come in our dream. Just to tell you where your status is. So kama unaota hiyo ndoto mtu wa Mungu, unaota ukiwa na magari ya zamani. Unakuta unaendesha magari ya zamani. Hata na gari sasa siku hizi hiyo hey, mimi nakataa. Kwanza nikiwata nikiamka natafuta simali ya kwenda closet kidogo na hizo ninazikanyanga kabisa. Is why rudi tena na, naambia Mungu. Na wengine unawata unakula unakula chakula upendi tena unalishwa na nguvu kula. Kula. Hizo hizo ni ndoto hiyo ni ndoto mbaya watu wa Mungu. Hiyo ni unakula alafu ukiamka asubuhi ume, ume, umefura tumbo hata usikii kula kibaba kwa sababu ulilisho usiku hizo ndio vitu unakataa ukiita ndio unaona na ulizanga watu wa Kristo kesha mnakuja kufanya nini ndio unaona watu mtu atamsema mtafikiria kama tenda kesha mtaa na una mambo hai hiyo ndio vitu unakuja kufanyia kazi ukija kesha unafanyia kazi 
Hapo ndio natafuta hiyo ndio hiyo ndio nafasi ya hizo vitu imekusumbua kwa mwezi hiyo unayaandika chini unasema tutapambana leo by the time I'm four I'm done I'm done Ukija ke, ukija kesha yetu yetu inakuwa moto sana moto akuotea mbali eh hey, moto akuotea mbali kwa sababu kuna vitu inatusumbua na hatuna nafasi ya kuomba tukija kesha nafasi iko hata ukitaka kuombea nje hata ukitaka kwenda nje unaenda unakamatana na Mungu unashika Mungu unashika Mungu mpaka mapepo yanatoroka ukija nyumbani mambo imekuwa ukienda kazini maisha yamebadilika there is power in prayer there is power in prayer there is power in prayer and god answers prayer god answers prayer so you need to pray hii dunia nimekwambia hii the devil will not allow you to take what god has given you na mungu na mungu god is just mpaka mwenye uchukue why you have the name of jesus you have the blood of jesus you have the word of the lord you have the praise and worship nini nini nitakuzuia bwana asiwe sana mimi nataka nimalizie hapo i'm finishing the next spirit tumesema number 1 tulisema delay number 2 stagnation number 3 diversion number 4 eh backwardness so hizo hizo roho ine ni roho hatari unafaa kupigana nazo katika maisha yako ili kwamba by the time tunafika december kila mtu ana testimony hata pasa akiuliza huo hasa testimony ndio hata mnakosa mpaka itabidi katikati ya wiki waweke kwa online ndio kila mtu ajue kwamba ile project hujamaliza unaenda kumaliza kila kitu umeanza kwa sababu unauliza ni nani unangoja kuja kusaidie kujenga gorofa hapa na niligundua kwetu uh, kitengela kuna magorofa mingi sana mpaka siku moja nikaambia mama nataka nifanye survey hii magorofa inajengagwa na kina nani mimi nikaenda nikaenda kwa laini moja kutoka kanisani kwetu nikaangalia nika, nikakuta wa jamaa anajenga nikauliza wewe ndio mwenye hii gorofa eh wewe ni nani ama civil servant nikaenda kwa ingine wewe ni nani ama teacher hii pesa umetoa wapi nimechukua loan nikaenda kwa ingine Ah uh, mimi nafanya kazi nimechukua loan kwa sababu ni mimi ni mwanabiashara. Nikaenda kwa karibu tano pa, nikauliza mama kama hawa watu wanajenga magorofa ni watu wa kawaida. Nini me, ni nini nimetukataza sisi kujenga gorofa? Na tuna pesa na tuna uwezo na tuko na environment the same environment. Why can we not have a gorofa? Statement ya kusema niliishi na statement yangu inaonekana. Hata mimi nimekuja kuwauliza wewe jiulize wewe kwa nini hujaijenga gorofa? Okay. Mungu wengine wanasema oh mimi maono yangu si gorofa, ni, ni nyumba ya kuishi, niko na niko na palasho home. Hasa hata nikauliza hata nyumba ambao hata kama umenunua uh, plot na umejenga. Kwa sababu Kenya wana wanadanganya wanaambiwa mtu ni plot 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 50 by Mimi niliambia Mungu mimi si limited kwa 50 by 100 hata nikifanya hivi sitoshei nikamwambia Mungu mimi ni one acre and above na Mungu akasikia maombi akatupa 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 one si hata one acre 10 acres eh 10 acres sasa siku moja nikilala nikiomba Mungu tu asubuhi Mungu akaniuliza hii eka moja unafanyanga nini Is it giving you anything? Ala, nikauliza nikasema ala. Kichwa yangu kikaamka. Nikusema ninakae kamoja hainipi it does not pay me. I am paying it. Inanikula. Ndio nikafikiria ah. So kukaa na, na shama na plot na nyumba ambao hainipi chochote. Nikamwambia Mungu sasa nipe ideas. Mungu akaniambia fanyisha hiki kazi. Huwezi kana eka moja kwa town, atumeeka tu maua, maridadi, miti, miti ya nini? Fanyisha kazi kupatie pesa. Kichwa changu kikaamka. Nikachukua, nika, nika nikaweka samaki, nikaweka ngombe, mpaka leo sisi tunakunywa ngombe tangu 10 years ago. Tuko na ngombe na inatupa maziwa kila siku. Na tunauza maziwa 10 to 20 liters every day kitengela. 
Nikajua hii hii sasa lazima ifanye kazi. So tukaweka samaki, tukaweka ngombe, tukaanza kupanda mboga, horticulture na nini? Nikaona hala kumbe ina, inaingiza. So kitchen ya mama hakuna siku ananiambia mimi nahitaji pesa. Pesa ni mingi. Ya maziwa iko, ya shamba iko, ya samaki iko. Mpaka 2016, na 2016 years, 2016. Show ya Kajiado County ilikuwa kwetu kwa boma. Unaza Google wakati makanisa ilifungwa 2020 mwezi wa 3 sasa nikauliza Mungu sasa what do i do akaniambia go and farm look for ways to get money tukaanza kupanda french beans na chilies for export hata saa hii as i'm talking hatujaiacha hiyo eka 10 tunapandanga chilies for export na french beans na mboga tuna supply mboga Nairobi watu wanakuja kwetu kuchukua mboga kwetu ni believe me tumeuza tumeuza hizi french beans europe mpaka watu wa Tesco wakakuja kuuliza kwa nini uh, wateja wao wanataka hiyo french beans kutoka kwa shamba yetu maana kila 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 shamba ina code ukituma ina code so code yako inatokea so walikuja kufanya uh, study na kufanya audit ya shamba yetu uh, two years ago na tukapita wakati wa covid tukapita tulipata 95 lakini wakasema tumewaangusha kwa sababu hamuna covid banners nikamwambia mama watu wapitangwi 95 si ni A na ni A plus <laughs> nikamwambia hiyo 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 usijali tumepita hata kama wameandika recommendation kidogo hapa kusema hii hatuna hii hatuna lakini 95 ni mingi tumepita sasa kutoka siku hiyo mpaka saa hii sisi tunauza french beans tunauza chilies na tunauza mboga kwetu huko na bado tunahubiri wewe umekaa kwa nyumba yako comfortably na na una, unalipanga county, county government rates ya kila siku so mimi nikaambia mama hakuna nyumba tutakaa bure tutatengeneza nyumba za watu kuishi na sisi tukae juu ili hawa watu wote wanatulipa tupumzike kwa sababu hiyo nyumba watoto wakihama Watoto wako watahama utabaki wewe na mamba peke yako. Mwanza kuulizana hata mimi sasa tukuchukue nyumbani ukise, kama umesao kitu juu unauliza nani anaenda juu. Unase mpaka sasa unafikiri kuweka lift kama bisho mark. Tuweke lift unaenda nyumbani unaenda huko juu kwa bedroom yako. Let me tell you what I'm simply telling you. Those of us that have property. Una property, una plot, una shamba, una vitu, fanyisha kazi. Utoe umaskini kwa kwa Mungu haize kukupa kitu for the sake of it. God will give you something with a mind of business. Unajua kama hujai kujua Mungu ni mwanabiashara. Eh? Si Mungu ni mwanabiashara. Anasema ni kile nimekupatia fanyisha kazi mpaka nitaka kukuja. Ah Luke 19:23. Hebu angalia Luke 19:23 nifunge hapo. Sasa am nimalizie hapo. Siku nyingine nitarudi tena. Bishop Manka kinituma nitarudi. Amen bwana asifiwe sana. Anasema anasema, anasema why then did you not put my money into the bank that my uh, that at my coming I might have collected with an interest. Mungu anauliza alipatia watu talanda akapatia mwingine tano akafanya kazi akapatia mbili akafanyisha kazi akapatia moja akafanya kazi sasa wewe una shamba unafanyanga nini hizi vitu Mungu amekupatia kazi ama unamwambia Mungu ile shamba ulinipa ndio hiyo 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 inusuweka hiyo weka moja hiyo plot bado Mungu ana mbona ukufanyisha biashara ndio tukasema kwamba lazima tuangalie life must anything that God has given na unajua kitu moja niwaambia watu wa Mungu Hakuna mtu maskini kwa sababu ako mashambani. Mungu wa mashambani na Mungu wa mijini ni yule yule. Anasema Deuteronomy 28 anasema I shall bless you in the city and I shall bless you in the land. So you have capacity our capacity to re, to receive resources does not come from our own mind but come from God. The ideas are from God. Anasema katika uh, 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 Job 1 anasema nini? Every good things come from above and above all from the Father who does not change his mind. 
Vitu vyote vizuri vinatoka kwa Mungu ambao habadiliki. Na mimi nimekuja kuambia kutoka leo hii mwezi usikubali mwezi kwenda bado umekaa tu mahali moja. Unangoja nani? Ngoja Mungu. Engage God for your blessing. Stand on your feet. I want to pray. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Pengine uko hapa. Kuna watu wako hapa na wewe pengine unasema Bishop hata kichwa yangu kufikiria aina hizo that unajua wakati let me tell you wakati mwingine shetani ufunganga akili ya watu watu unajaribu kufikiria idea sasikuji shika kichwa yako shika kichwa yako tunapoomba father i release the grace of god for supernatural ideas that those people that have been waiting on on you for ideas lord release ideas ideas of business ideas to make money ideas to become greater ideas to take nations ideas to take land ideas to drive great things to build houses to get married any power that have held your mind be loose now 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 in Jesus precious name you are here you have been struggling in this life umekukingangana umengangana kufanya biashara umengangana kufanya vitu umengangana kuna mali watu wamengangana inua mkono wako kama umekukingangana nimetumwa na bwana nikuombee kwamba siku zako za kungangana inafika mwisho kuanzia leo mangangano kama ulifungwa ufunguliwe kwa jina la Yesu baba na kushukuru kwa wale inua mikono yao kwamba mahali katika maisha wamengangana kibiashara wamengangana kifamilia wamengangana kimaisha wamengangana sasa hivi katika mwezi wa Julai navunja mangangano navunja viambasa navunja kila nguvu ya giza katika jina la Yesu wakomboe watu wako wakomboe katika mangangano mangangano ya fedha mangangano ya maisha mangangano ya, ya biashara kwamba sasa wanaokuja kuwapiga vita tunasimamisha Father we declare any battle of the mind any battle of resources any battle of business any battle in their life we terminate it now by the blood of Jesus receive your freedom receive your freedom receive your freedom receive your freedom receive your freedom, receive your freedom. in Jesus precious name finally i am praying for people whom the enemy is fighting kuna watu wako hapa wanapigwa na shetani hata kwa ndoto hata wengine wana, wanafikiri watakufa ukiona umeamuka asubuhi unasema nashukuru Mungu nimeamuka kwa sababu shetani anakupiga vita na Mungu anasema i will preserve them uh, tupatie katika one, Psalms 103 verses 11 verses 11 Psalms 103 verses 11 let's, let's, let's give us give us the scripture tafadhali tu i'm sorry i'm reading again and nilisema nimemaliza uh, Verses 13. Verses 13. Psalms 103 verses 13. Anasema, as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. And for he knows verse 14, for he knows how we are formed and he remembers that we are the dust. Mungu anatuonea huruma. Mungu ni mwenye huruma. Anakuonea huruma. Anasema he pities us. He knows we are just dust. He knows we, there are things we are not able to do on our own. And that is why Zechariah says it is not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. I pray today. In this in this any trouble you are in, any frustration you are in, God will take you out. You shall not be ashamed in 2023. Father, I release grace. I release grace. over every man every woman frustrated or being fought by the enemies the battles they have fought battles of sickness battles of finances battles of their life lord i stand in this altar by your grace deliver them from every battle deliver them from every battle 
deliver them, Lord, even from terminal illness. And where the doctors have given a terminal sentence, Lord, I declare you can reverse. They are reverse. I call a reverse. I call a reverse. Hold every situation in the mighty name of Jesus and bless your people. Bless their coming in and bless their going out. Bless them, oh God, that are trusting you for miracles, international travels. Those God that are willing to travel out of Kenya, I pray, may you go to nations. May you go to nations. May you get visas. May you get visas and passports. May you be not be denied. May the doors, doors of your international travel, your international travel, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive your visa in Jesus' name. Receive doors. Receive doors to nations in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not be denied. You shall not be denied. You shall not be ashamed. You shall not be, you shall not, you, no one will reject you. You shall not be rejected. You shall be accepted. At every office you enter, may you be accepted. May you be accepted in the name of Jesus. May you be accepted. May you be accepted. May you be accepted. May you be accepted. You be accepted. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that I've delivered the word that you've given to me. Release me now, Lord, even as we go back to Nairobi. That, Lord, we shall go in your grace and in your favor. And, Lord, we shall hear the miracles from this church. That things have happened. Things have happened. And we shall give you the glory and the grace. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a shout. Jamani, nimebarikiwa kuwa hapa. Ukiona nimechomoka, mimi ninaondoka kwa sababu nina mambo mawili matatu kabla mambo ya kesho. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki tena. Mungu akipenda tutakutana. Amen. A better hand clap than that please for our bishop. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Asante Bwana. Naweza kuketi. Wow, one as Hallelujah. Bishop. Askofu. Please. Tapadari. Arrange to come again. Ataka urudi tena. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I want us to go to a time of offerings and tithes. Ataka tuene kwa wakati wa kutoa sadaka na fungula kumi. And I want to welcome our sisters who have been helping us. Ataka ni wakaribishe dada zetu amba wame kwa wakitu saidia. Please, as the praise worship team is giving us a number. Don't leave until we say the grace together. Amen. Amen.